welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and today we are touring a save file or a new world created for The Sims 4. This is CC Free and this is the Harry Potter world in The Sims 4 and I could not be more excited. I'm actually quite a big Harry Potter fan. So I saw this on Twitter, Simproved I believe is the person who put this all together but this save file was made by a ton of other simmers as well. There were loads of people who contributed to this and they have filled the entire world of Windenburg with different lots from the Harry Potter world which is so freaking cool. So we have lots like the Ministry of Magic, we have Nocturne Alley, we also have Malfoy Manor, the Shell Cottage, we have the Forbidden Forest and Hagrid's Hut. Obviously, we have Hogwarts and a bunch of really, really cool locations. We're gonna tour some of them today. I'm not gonna look at all of them because there is so freaking many, but I definitely recommend you guys go download this for yourself if you're interested. I will leave the links down below the download includes a readme text file so make sure you read that that has the instructions on how to install this to your game it's actually super simple you just need to do a couple of clicks but the only piece of cc that i did download for this is this map art showing kind of the new harry potter world so for example we have the train coming in here which is super cool you have the train tracks going all around here around hogwarts this was made by nando i do not remember exactly what the original windenburg map looks like but this is the, the new map so we're just gonna look at what we have here and then we're gonna jump into a few of these builds and take a look so over here we have the diagon alley all the buildings related to that so here we have olivanders up here we have the leaky cauldron which is so cool we have quidditch supplies here we have this is called beautifying potions and it's a spa that's so cool we have the gringotts bank which i think we'll have to look at because that sounds amazing we have weasley's wizard wheezes the shop of course very excited for that as well and then this is Nocturne Alley and over here we even have the night bus as a lot which I think is so cool. Moving down here we have the Houses of Parliament, we have Grimmauld Place and by the way a lot of these have sims living in them and these seem to be characters from the Harry Potter world so I think that is so fun as well. Anyways this is Tom Riddle's orphanage so we have Tom Riddle living here, that's scary. We have the King's Cross Station which Honestly, it already looks super awesome. And then this is the Ministry of Magic. Totally forgot this little lot up here. Oh my god, Lord Voldemort lives here, okay. So this is Little Hangleton. I don't know how to say that and I actually do not know what that is referring to. And I just called myself a Harry Potter fan. Apparently I'm a fake one. Here we have the starter house for this save file. So it does actually come with the starter house. I just moved one of my sims in here. <laughs> so you can make your wizard or harry potter themed sim and move them in here instantly which i think is really cool we have the love good house so we have luna and her dad living here this is godric's hollow and over here we have fleur and Belle living at the shell cottage we have the burrow with all the weasleys and up here we have the malfoy manor with the malfoys obviously and we even have the privet drive with the dursleys oh my gosh <laughs> anyways we have azkaban how cool is that? And it looks like it's in the middle of water, which is super cool. So we have Bellatrix, and I, I'm guessing those are Dementors, which is cool. Here we have actually Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Oh, and, oh my god, the pets. So this is Hogsmeade. We have Hagrid's Cottage or Hagrid's Hut with Hagrid and Fang. We have a Quidditch pitch, which I'm so excited for. It looks so cool from this map view. We need to take a look at this. This is the Forbidden Forest. Uh, obviously, we have Hogwarts <laughs> with the professors living in there. So I'm impressed by this already and we haven't even looked at any of the lots close up. But oh, this is amazing. And with all the other Harry Potter themed CC packs out there that introduce new clothing and accessories and even some new animations, if you put all those together, you could basically play Harry Potter in The Sims. So let's just get started. I want to start up here. I think I'm mostly excited to see the Barrow. They all look amazing, but I don't have time to look at all of them. So let's jump into the Weasley household and let's look at the Barrow. 
Oh my god, there's the flying car. That's the first thing I'm seeing when I'm loading into this a lot. That is a genius. So this a lot was made by Justfa. I'm gonna put their Twitter handle on the screen. And we have the Weasleys living in here. I think this is Ginny. That actually looks quite a lot like her. We obviously have Molly as well. We have Arthur inside. Oh my god, this looks so cool. And then we have Fred and George. This is the house. Should I turn my reshade on? I feel like I will. There is so much detail already. Like there's a rake. Is that what it's called in English? I never know what this is called. Anyway, outside laying on the ground. Really cool. We have the scarecrow over here. Oh my God, there's everything. There's chickens over here, but let's just take an overview of the house. It looks cool. It looks very magical and I love the car. I absolutely love the car in midair. That is just genius. Anyways, let's take a look inside. This place has a lot of floors, but if we go inside, okay, holy crap. They put so much effort into this. Are they vampires? No, are they spellcasters? I'm assuming they're all spellcasters. If you have that pack in your game. Yeah, yeah, they are spellcasters. That's what I thought. Anyways, we have all these paintings, books. Um, here we have a little TV and the fireplace. Oh my God, this is so cluttered. And there's so much detail into this. We have this area. Okay, so this is where they have the dining table. <gasps> And the kitchen back here, oh my god, that actually looks amazing. We have the herbs on the wall, and it just, honestly, I love it. It's giving me Harry Potter vibes, oh my goodness. And then yeah, Arthur was in here, there's a door right there where you come in. Is this another door to go outside? We have a little tiny balcony area, and then over here we have a bathroom if we go up the stairs we come into this area oh we have ladders going up higher over here we have oh, is this genie's room oh my god this is adorable here's another bathroom oh, okay i've just come upstairs we have brooms here i did not remember those were in the game wait those look so cool i love them there um here's another room is this for the twins? I would assume so. And then, ooh, more ladders and a little bathroom. And this is the upstairs balcony. Looks great. Is this? Okay, so we have one more room. Okay, I don't know whose room is whose anymore, but look at this, honestly, sorry. Look at the amount of detail and clutter in this room. I feel like just to make this one room, it would take like two or three hours at least. We have a wand. I love that, honestly. I love the orange theme here, perfect for the Weasleys. There is just so much happening. Oh, I totally missed that there was another room behind this room over here. So I guess this would be the parents' room. That would totally make sense. So do Fred and George have their own rooms? Although this one does come with two beds. Maybe one of them is for Ron, maybe the one up here. But yeah, I think this is looking amazing. I love the color scheme and it does actually remind me of the house that we've seen in the movies. Obviously this could be just based on the books as well, but if we take a look at the world here now, we can see here is the shell cottage. I don't think we're going to be going in there, but that looks super, super cute. Here is Privet Drive. <gasps> I feel like I've seen so many builds of this in The Sims, oh my goodness. That looks so good. This build was made by It's Emma Lou, Lukes, I don't know, on Twitter. I will put the username on the screen, but we're not looking at this one in full detail, but just like this, honestly, looks amazing. I believe this is the Love Good House as well. That looks so cool. Such an interesting design. Actually very, very impressed by that as well. And I believe this one was Godric's Hollow really awesome build too oh and here is the starter house that they have included in this world it looks super cute this one was made by paul pancake i believe that is their youtube name as well so go check them out but let's take a little look we have this super super cute backyard where it looks like you can do gardening 
cooking and you're growing your own vegetables or something honestly adorable so yeah we just have a starter house this one is the price of a starter house as well which is really cool we have your bathroom and bedroom upstairs and down here we have an area with a super cute kitchen and this little living room corner i love this all right, I want to look at some of the builds over here at the Diagon Alley area. I have the reshade on now. If the map looks a bit different, it's brighter. I think I want to go into Gringotts Bank or Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. I feel like that would be such a fun lot. Okay, here we are at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. This lot was made by Simproved. I will leave her YouTube channel linked down below since from what I've gathered, she's the one who pulled all of this together to make the save file. This lot loaded kind of slowly because I think there's a lot going on inside, but it looks freaking amazing. I love all the red windows. There is a huge nutcracker right there. Like, I feel like inside this is going to be crazy. We're just going to go in in build mode holy moly oh, it's so red okay so this is actually literally insane are you serious so we have a giant christmas tree in the middle because why not look how many toys there are i actually don't know what to say i cannot imagine how long it took to place all of these items we have a lot of nutcrackers we have the freaking garden gnomes we have bears we have just everything to imitate all of the tricks and toys and everything that they sell at weasley wizard wheezes honestly the scene in the movies where they're at this shop is one of my favorite scenes because the whole place is so insane i've actually been to the harry potter world in orlando florida and we went to the shop as well and i adopted one of the little are they called pygmy puffs the little pink creatures that genie also gets in the the movie and it was just the best thing ever so this is honestly so freaking awesome it's just so cool and this is what you see when you look down honestly this is epic and this is the entire lot from the outside simpro built this entire building but this is the decorated part besides where the shop is but there's so much detail and even just out here which i just think is so cool all right, next up we have the Gringotts Bank. This one was made by Ninster. I will put their Twitter username on the screen. First impressions, it looks amazing. I love the black and white. And from this angle, like it literally looks like the bank we've seen in the movies. The detailing, just chef's kiss. I feel like everyone knows this scene where they walk in and we have the goblins working on each side and then they walk over here. They do that in the first movie. Hagrid takes Harry here and then I think later on when they are disguised using Polyjuice's potion and I think they might be using the invisibility cloak as well. Hermione comes in here pretending to be Bellatrix and it's yeah it's so cool. So this looks exactly like I know it to look like, so that's awesome. We have this little area here. I wonder if this goes down to the basement. <gasps> okay, I actually was just guessing. Oh my god. <laughs> we have the dragon. Wait, that's so cool. I love this. How did they make that? That looks so freaking good. Wait, this goes even lower. And then we have a door over here. What is on the other side of this? Oh. <gasps> okay wait oh my god i was not expecting this to be this cool oh my god so we have one of the vaults down here with all the gold inside look at this pile of gold that is actually so cool and oh my god i didn't even notice they even have the rails going here because you know you take the like freaking cards when you go and try to find your vault and it's it's so cool in the movie and they did it here i am so impressed this lot is actually so cool i'm so glad we came in here i love the dragon statue and then up here we have a few more vaults i love the doors as well and then here we have one with paintings books and gold here we just have a huge pile of gold i feel like this is what harry's vault kind of looks like in the first movie so maybe that is his and then here we have oh my god this room oh no this looks like umbridge's room please don't tell me it's her vault well i like it i really really like it anyways this build does go up as well here we have the staircases and then up here 
it's so cool as well i really love the details the staircases even look really cool i like the different shapes that they've made and then it goes even higher we have offices and bathrooms honestly this is so cool and i just noticed this huge chandelier right there as well can you see it when you come in okay yeah you can i just have to zoom out <gasps> there it is okay 10 out of 10 i love this lot i wish we could look at every single lot because all the lots over here are so interesting but i really want to take a quick look at azkaban and then i really need to see this quidditch pitch lot because it looks freaking awesome and of course we're gonna have to take a tour around hogwarts because it looks so epic from here i'm so excited like look at this bridge honestly super impressed but we're gonna start off with azkaban yeah these guys are the mentors i thought so here we have bellatrix lestrange okay oh my god so here we have okay it is in the middle of water so we have azkaban this is what it looks like in the movie it's just this gigantic kind of a square building and obviously it gets hit by what does it get hit by i actually cannot remember right now it's escaped my mind but like a huge part of the building gets just crumbled and chipped off and that's how bellatrix ends up escaping azkaban but let's just take a look inside so obviously here there are going to be cells because this is a prison if you were unaware in the middle you can see all the way down to the water so yeah as expected it is quite simple on the inside but i really like how they've done this it goes even down yeah it looks really cool i like that i really like the detailing here actually how the water looks oh and this lot was made by leah morgana over on twitter i will leave their handle on the screen really great job all right moving on we're here at the quidditch pitch and i just realized there's a lot more to this save file as well like they have a club if you have well you must have i believe the get together expansion to be able to play this because this whole world is placed in Windenburg, which is the map that comes with Get Together. And Get Together also comes with clubs and they have Dumbledore's army with Hermione, Harry, Ron, Ginny, Cho, who is somewhere in this world, and Luna? Like what? That is so freaking cool. Was not expecting to see that. But this is the Quidditch pitch lot. This was made by Simproved again. And oh my goodness, it looks so cool honestly very impressed they even have seating up here on these towers whatever they are called and the different flags for the different houses which honestly super creative i love that a lot obviously you have the rings for quidditch um oh my god there's even okay okay so we have the trunk here that has all of the balls and the bats maybe maybe it's just the balls in there she even made a little snitch are you serious that is so creative <laughs> i love this book as well there's a wand wait what how on earth did she make that are you serious i thought that was cc for a second that is so cool that is to keep the balls i forgot what they're called but these balls are crazy they try to hit you so they have to be locked in a cage and that is awesome we also have brooms here like what the heck i guess this is a little medical <laughs> wing area because there is quite a lot of accidents that can happen with quidditch as well i love the floor as well it's just this is so cool i'm super impressed i keep saying that but i really am i think we have hagrid's hut here we're not gonna go in here because the studio is way way too long you can kind of see inside through the windows but i love that they made this area with the pumpkins that they have i believe in the third movie maybe prisoner of azkaban this lot is made by marlene on the sims gallery i'll put the id on the screen now but it looks so good it looks just like the one in the movies anyways we're gonna go over to hogwarts now and i yeah i'm so excited all right here we are this lot is freaking massive it took a long time to load and i feel like you might be a little bit laggy because of how big it is my computer is good but it's not amazing but here is hogwarts this one was also made by simproved it looks amazing stunning why is there a plane i do not approve but yeah let's take a closer look so 
I think this is one of the 64 times 64 lots. Yeah, here's a little glimpse inside. This looks like the Slytherin common house area, whatever it's called. This definitely looks like potion class. Oh my lord. <laughs> it would take me like five hours just to do this one room and this entire lot is filled with rooms like this. I'm gonna pause because there's weird sound effects, but this actually looks epic. There's so many items here from the Spellcasters pack, of course, Realm of Magic, like this huge cauldron, but honestly, it looks epic. Here's more of the Slytherin common area. How do you get inside? Okay, so there's just a really big door. Oh my God, that is a long <laughs> staircase. On this side, what do we have? <gasps> we have baby Otis preparing food. <laughs> I love that. So we have this big kitchen area. There are so many baby Otis in here. That is hilarious. I love this. Is this is not the big dining hall though, is it? But a really cool kitchen. We have this stunning room. This makes me think of Hufflepuff. I'm not sure if we're in the Hufflepuff room or if this is just another generic room. I feel like this definitely could be the Hufflepuff house common area. I can't remember what they're called right now, those rooms. So that is the bottom floor. When you come up, we come to this floor. We can see the grounds as well. Oh my goodness, so much detail. I love all the trees that are placed around. There's benches when you walk through the grounds. Absolutely love that. We have this area here. So cool with the candles. We have the huge tree. Of course, love that. Love this area. Oh, so here is the main dining hall. Okay. Oh my God. Are you serious? Look how much stuff is on these tables. Are you actually serious? We have Mrs. Norris in here. This looks great. This looks just like the movies. I love the lamps. And then up here, obviously we have where the professors sit with Dumbledore in the middle. We have Christmas trees, so maybe it's Christmas season. And then we have candles everywhere. Do we have floating candles? Or was that just too much to handle? <laughs> For this build oh we do we do actually i just needed to go up so all of these act as little floating candles which is what the dining hall is known for so absolutely love that moving on we have other areas here these look like the professors like corners their offices etc and here is an entrance area that leads to this bridge is this a bridge oh wow okay it is that is so cool. Honestly, this build is so amazing. And then on this side, on the same level, we have even more rooms. There's just everything in here. Honestly, this might be another classroom. So obviously we have a lot of those. We have a lot of offices. This is the medical wing. Here we have another classroom. This one, I want to say defense against the dark arts but it could be something else. Here is the herbology classroom. Love that so much. Definitely makes me think of the movie. And then let's go up another floor. Oh my God, there is so much stuff. So we have this area. Is this the dueling area? I wanna say it is. Okay, so I forgot what this class is called, but this is where, you know, they read the tea leaves and they look into the crystal balls. Hermione was not impressed by that class. We also have these areas over here. I want to say this looks like the Ravenclaw areas and this looks like the Gryffindor ones. So, oh, maybe this is like the Gryffindor area where you come in the Gryffindor common room with the lady in the painting. Yeah, that is a door. And then over here would be the Ravenclaw one? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then up here is their sleeping areas. All right, that is it. That is the Hogwarts castle. A little bit of an overview. Obviously, I don't want this video to be an hour long, so we can't look at every single lot in this amazing Harry Potter world. But from what I've seen, I'm super impressed. It kind of makes me want to do a let's play, download all the other Harry Potter themed CC, maybe make the characters from the movies or make my own characters and go to Hogwarts. Honestly, that could be so, so much fun. So let me know if you actually want to see something like that on the channel. But honestly, super well done with this entire world. I was so impressed. I'm sure the other ones are just as good as the ones we've seen. So all the info is going to be down below in the description box with the download links and the links to 
to improve this channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I love seeing save files and especially themed ones like these are just so amazing. I really feel like they managed to bring Harry Potter into The Sims 4. So anyways, that is everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you're having a great day and bye. Thank you.